Would you guys like to meet your wedding party? Sophomore now, Olivia first met Destiny as a member of the gymnastics team. She's into cheerleading and track, and she's famous for talking a lot without really saying anything at all. <laughs> well, when asked if she had a boyfriend, she answered, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm going to marry a hundred cats. <laughs> now, Olivia, I gotta tell you. That's the first wedding I think I'll ever be to, where instead of sharing vows, the bride and groom would share minutes. <laughs> They become great friends. He loves comic books. In fact, he loves them so much, he can frequently be overheard giving relationship advice to his favorite comic book character. Remember, man, you cannot marry a woman without deals. You put two different words. He's a professor at NAU, and he loves playing guitar and anything to do with music. Heather's originally from Kingman, Arizona, India. She's still from Kingman, Arizona. She's a gymnast. Coach, an EMT and is in nursing school. She's here tonight with her boyfriend Mike and her beautiful daughter Elena. Put your hands together for John and Heather. She loves singing, playing guitar, and is a singer in the Air Force Academy Band. But, uh, it wasn't always so glamorous, however. You see, the first time she went on stage to perform, she dropped her guitar, which wouldn't have been such a big deal, except it sort of got caught on her top on the way down. Uh, let's just say she gave the term wardrobe malfunction a whole new meaning. Now, Marcos is a technical writer at Gore and only met the bride and groom about a year and a half ago. He loves playing guitar and soccer and is famous for having a booming singing voice. I've also been told that he is so brave that whenever something scary happens and bravery is needed, he can be found leading the charge. She's known the bride for 10 years and they're best friends. She currently is living in beautiful Las Vegas. Hey, everybody, you know what they say about Vegas. What happens in Vegas ends up on Facebook. She's a model and dancer and has an amazing talent for making everybody happy. Miles first met the group while playing trombone in the little school band and they've been friends ever since. He's single, which is probably the result of his favorite pickup line. I see you drinking 1%. Is that because you think you're fat? You, you could be drinking whole if you wanted to. He's able to dance with two girls and a puppy at the same time. It is always the life of the party. Ladies and gentlemen, Portia and Miles. Now 
now introducing our best man and maid of honor, Carol Cole and Will Reynolds. She's an army brat who loves breeding, gaming, and hanging out with her pet birds, Isis and Shelby. And as I hear it, she's always prepared to crochet anywhere she goes. Better keep an eye on that bouquet. Will goes by the nickname Mashogna. He's known them for 19 years, and they are best friends. And of that friendship, Robert says, he'll always have my back, and I'll always have his. Dating a wonderful lady named Julie, and as I understand it, when he first introduced himself to her, he described himself to her in this way. People seem to like me because I am polite and I'm rarely late. I like to eat ice cream and I really enjoy a nice pair of slacks. He attends the University of Arizona. He's a river guide and an outdoor educator and loves anything outdoors. Please welcome our best man and maid of honor, Kara Paul. and he in Arizona. And from a young age, they both loved music. Little did either of them know that the thing they loved so much would be instrumental in bringing them together to reveal something that they loved even more. They first met while playing guitar together, uh, playing music together. They, she sang while he accompanied her on guitar. From almost their first duet, they both knew there was something special between them. Their first date was very simple, and if you were to ask Robert, a little bit awkward. <laughs> of that date, he said, we could both tell there was something there. We went on a night hike and should have kissed for the first time under the moonlight, but didn't. Instead, they went back to her house and settled for a romantic movie, I Robot. <laughs> their love story picked up the tempo one night when she went to his house in Flagstaff to watch Another romantic love story, cloudy with a chance of meatballs. <laughs> and while holding her close after the credits rolled, he said those three remarkable words, I love you. It only took destiny about three seconds to answer him in kind. Now the day he proposed to her will be one neither of them will ever forget. They had just finished dinner and had decided to go home and, you guessed it, watch a movie. <laughs> There seems to be a pattern here with you two. <laughs> Destiny had gone to put some clothing away before the movie started, and Robert realized that this was the perfect opportunity to go through with his plan to propose to her. Now, in order for his plan to work, he needed some help. His accomplice? None other than Liam Neeson. Mm -hmm. Their pet tortoise. While Robert was outside, hastily and humanely tying the rim to his shell, Destiny was looking for Robert and becoming a bit worried. She said, Robert was gone for about 10 minutes. I kept calling his name and he wasn't answering. Then just as I was going to look for him, he showed up and said something was wrong with Liam's shell. Obviously the answer was to bring him inside, but no, no, Robert wondered, he can't be moved. <laughs> Destiny hurried outside to find out what was wrong, and as she crouched down to examine the tortoise, she noticed the sparkle of the diamond and the beam of the flashlight. It was at that moment that this love story reached its crescendo, and Destiny turned to find her sweetheart on bended knee. He asked for her hand in marriage, and through her joyful tears, she said yes. And Liam Neeson, the tortoise, remained blissfully unaware of his pivotal role in this truly unique tale of love. Their love story is really just beginning, but it has all the makings of becoming a timeless classic. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise?